Hey guys, I will take up one more problem on uh, finding DFT using properties. So here the problem is given an 8 point uh, time domain sequence x of n is 11110000 with its DFT x of k. So they have uh, given x of k also for x of n. In case if they don't give x of k then you have to calculate 8 point DFT of this sequence and then you have to proceed. Fine. So I need to find DFT of these two sequences. And I have to use, I have to use appropriate properties. Use appropriate properties. Properties. So I'll try to solve this solution. Now, what is x one of n is given by what one zero 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 one one one, right? But so what is x of n? X of n is this sequence, which is one comma one comma one comma one comma zero 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 zero. Now, if you find any, I mean, can you find any relationship between these two? So, so what's happening here is, if I shift this sequence left, circularly shift this sequence left three times, what happens? So. This one zero 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 comes at the beginning, and rest of the three samples goes to the other side, right? If I shift it three times, this comes here one time, here two time, here three time, right? And these three goes to the other side. So I end up with one comma zero 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 zero, and the other three one one one, right? So these two are same, but I have written this in terms of this, right? So what is this in terms of x of n? This is nothing but x of n circularly shifted left. Three times, right? So how do I represent it? X of n plus three mod mod what? Mod eight, right? Because the length of the sequence is eight. Okay. So therefore, therefore x one of n is equal to I can write it in terms of x of n as x of n plus three mod eight. Now if I take DFT on both side, so take DFT on both side. So I get x1 of k is equal to so which property I have to use? What is the DFT of x of n minus m mod n? So it is nothing but x of k gets multiplied by e power minus j 2 pi by n into k into so how many times it is shifted? M times. So similarly here x of k gets multiplied with e power here I have plus since I had minus here I have written minus but here I have plus right so it is plus j 2 pi by 8 into K into how many times it is shifted? Three times it is shifted. Okay, so I can write it as x1 of k is equal to x of k into e power j. So this is pi by four. I can write it as three pi by four into k. Right. So this is our x1 of k. What is the next step I need to do? I have to give values for k, varying from where to where. Zero comma one comma two comma dot 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 up to seven. So x One of k is equal to x of k into e power j three pi by four into k. So for k is equal to zero, what do I get? X one of zero is equal to x of zero into e power zero, which is equal to. Uh, before that, what is x of k? We have x of k is this, right? What is x of four? I mean x of zero. X of zero is four. So x of zero is four. Four into one, which is equal to four, right? So let me write that x of k. So x of k is four. One minus two point four one four j. Four one four j comma zero. One minus zero point four one four j. Zero. One plus zero point four one four j. Zero. One plus two point four one four j. So this is the x of k we have, right? Now, if I put k is equal to one, what do I get? X one of one is equal to x of one into e power j three pi by four into k is one. So in this, from this equation, right? What is x of one? It is one minus two point four one four j. 
into e power j 3 pi by 4. So e power j 3 pi by 4 is what do we get is minus 0 0.707 plus 0 0.707 j. Let me show you. So cos pi by 4. So cos 3 sorry. So cos 3 pi by 4 plus j into sine 3 pi by 4. So it is if I shift uh, equal to I get minus 0 0.707 plus 0 0.707 j right. So if you do it in a uh, if you simplify this uh, we get 1 plus 2.414 j ok. Now if x of x1 of 1 is 1 plus 2.414 j for k is equal to 7 so this will be the complex conjugate of the last sequence x1 of 7 which is equal to x of 7 into e power j 3 pi by 4 into 7 which will be equal to complex conjugate of this which is 1 minus 2.414 j ok so so you can direct i mean you can do this only if you are confident with this answer if this answer is wrong this answer also will be wrong then the whole problem you get uh, like error ok so now k is equal to 2 what is x2 of 2 which is equal to 0 right why because this is 0 so k equal to 3 see, see the thing is if x2 of 2 is 0 what about k is equal to 6 which is x1 of 6 which is equal to this these two should be complex conjugate but since this is a real so I get this as x of 6 into e power j 3 pi by 4 into uh, 6 which is equal to 0 why because 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 6 is 0 right now so k is equal to 3 x 3 of 3 is equal to what x of 3 into e power j 3 pi by 4 into 3 right so this is nothing but 9 pi by 4 right but what is x of 3 0 1 2 3 x of 3 is 1 minus 0 0.414 j into c power j 9 pi by 4 so what do we get cos 9 pi by 4 plus i into sine 9 pi by 4 so we get 0 0.707 plus 0 0.707 j so 0 0.707 plus 0 0.707 j so this is equal to this is equal to if you simplify this you get 1 plus 0 0.414 j right if if this is 1 plus 0 0.414 j what about k equal to 5 then so k equal to 5 is x1 of 5 which is equal to x of 5 into e power j 3 pi by 4 into 5 which will be equal to complex conjugate of this which is 1 minus 0 0.414 j right so for k is equal to 4 x3 of 4 is equal to 0 right because this is 0 x of 0 1 2 3 4 ok so therefore therefore x1 of k is equal to 4 comma 1 plus 2.414 j comma 0 comma 1 plus 0 0.414 j comma 0 1 minus 0 0.414 j 0 1 minus 2.414 j so b x2 of n is equal to what 0 0 1 1 1 1 0 0 right so fine but what is x of n x of n is what 1 1 1 1 0 0 0 0 right so what is the relationship between these two sequence I can this is nothing but so if I shift it right two time so what do I get these two comes at the beginning and rest of the samples goes to this side right so 0 0 1 1 1 1 0 0 and what is this in terms of x of n it is shifting right two times so it is x of n minus 2 mod 8 ok therefore what is x2 of n in terms of x of n x of n minus 2 mod 8 now if I take dft on both side take dft on both side both side so what is x2 of n it is x2 of k what is x2 of n minus 2 mod n so it is again circular time shift property which is x of k gets multiplied with e power I have minus so it is minus j 2 pi by n into k into uh, how many times it is shifted 2 times but what is the value of n it is 8 right so this is nothing but what x of k into e power minus j so 2 to the 4 
so it is pi by 2 pi by 2 into k right now so k is equal to 0 what do i have x2 of 0 which is equal to x of 0 into e power 0 which is equal to 4 right so what is x of k let me copy that x of k again x of k is 4 1 minus 2.414 j 0 1 minus 0 0.414 j 0 1 plus 0 0.414 j 0 1 plus 2.414 j this was x of k x of 0 is 4 so x of 0 is 4 times 1 is 1 which is equal to 4 so k is equal to 1 x2 of 1 is what x of 1 into e power minus j pi by 2 into 1 what is x of 1 1 minus 2.414 j into e power minus j pi by 2 cos pi by 2 minus j sin pi by 2 if you put it in your calculator you get minus j and if you simplify this so i get minus 2.414 minus j okay just check your answer so for k is equal to uh, okay the thing is this is the complex conjugate of what uh, for k is equal to let me write it here for k is equal to 7 x of x2 of 7 is equal to x of 7 into e power minus j pi by 2 into 7 this becomes complex conjugate of this which is minus 2.414 min plus j right now x when k is equal to 2 x2 of 2 is what x of 2 into e power minus j pi by 2 into 2 but this is equal to 0 why because 0 1 2 this is 0 right therefore for k is equal to 6 also x2 of 6 is equal to 0 complex conjugate right so k is equal to 3 x3 3, x2 of 3 is equal to x of 3 into e power minus j pi by 2 into 3 so what is the value of 3 0 1 2 3 which is 1 minus 0 0.414 j into e power minus j 3 pi by 2 is cos pi by 2 minus j sin 3 pi by 2 which is equal to j okay and if you simplify this you get 0 0.414 plus j if x2 of 3 is this what, what about k is equal to 5 so x2 of 5 will be complex conjugate of this which is 0 0.414 minus j right now for k is equal to 4 x2 of 4 is equal to 0 why because this is 0 0 1 2 3 0 1 2 3 4 right so i have all the 8 sequence x2 of 0 x2 of 1 2 3 4 5 6 and 7 so therefore let me write it here therefore x2 of k is equal to what 4 minus 2.414 j minus j 0 this is 0 0.414 plus j 0 0 0.414 minus j 0 minus 2.414 plus j so this is the dft of the second sequence